<laughs> hey y'all, Chuck here. <laughs> My wife Paige, her friend Fawn. <laughs> Hey, it's been one year now in Thailand, and um, I love it here. So far, it's been great. Uh, I wish I would have done it 10 years ago, but uh, I want to share 10 things that I really love about Thailand since I've been here a year, and I want to share 10 things that I don't like about Thailand uh, while I've been here. Um, the first, the very first thing that I fell in love with uh, when I started coming to Thailand was the Thai people. I, I love the Thai people. They're very friendly, um, always smiling. If you talk to them in Thai, they really appreciate that. <laughs> But I've never had a bad experience really uh, with Thai people. Uh, very sabai sabai and uh, yeah I think I just fell in love mostly with the culture, the, uh, the Buddhist culture and uh, just not really worried too much about anything. I, I really I really like that a lot. But the, the, the other thing, the other side of that that I don't like is what I call is blind faith. Uh, they have this thing where, you know, they just don't really worry about uh, consequences sometimes. You know, they just, they drive around uh, just kind of rubbing their, their Buddha and not worrying about the things around them. Uh, they'll pull out in front of you. They'll come into your lane. It, it, it's very dangerous in Thailand. So uh, sometimes they just walk around blindly and not really worry about too many things. So that's not that big of a deal, but it, it can be dangerous and it took some time to get used to. So uh, the second thing I really love about Thailand is the food. And obviously they bring it to you all the time. Uh, but the food here is awesome. Um, I haven't felt this healthy in my life. I know I'm not eating fast food, McDonald's, Burger King, all that stuff anymore, but uh, they don't really use a whole lot of preservatives and chemicals and, and, and sodium and all that stuff in their food. Um, it's been a long time since I actually seen a, an apple rot or a uh an orange rot uh they don't they just don't put all that stuff in there and i can really really feel the difference here in thailand uh, yeah the meat you know in america if we, we we butcher something it goes in the freezer immediately if we go fishing we catch it it goes in the ice box immediately here it's not like that it sits out for a long time and you think how can people survive uh eating that stuff but you actually do need a good mix of healthy bacteria in your system and I have gotten sick a couple times in Thailand but I've gotten sick back home in the States too so but I, I'm here to tell you I feel more healthy now than I ever have in my entire life and the food here is awesome really really awesome and it's it's easy to get and very inexpensive so the food is my second favorite thing so the other side of that, what I don't like about the food is I'm from Texas, so I, I like my beef. So it's very difficult in Thailand to find a good cut of beef. Uh, they do have cows here, but the problem is not that it's not the cows, it's the diet. So they really need a good mix of fat in their diet to have a juicy steak. But 
Uh, you can get imported Australian beef, uh, different imported beefs, but it's just not the same. But Thai people don't eat a lot of beef. The beef is expensive here. Uh, it's not their go-to meat. So, But anyway, I'm getting used to not eating it. As you get older, it's hard to digest anyway. No big deal, but that, that was the, the, the thing about other thing about food that I just didn't really like. Uh, the fourth thing that I love about Thailand is the uh, stress-free, sabai sabai attitude about Thai people. So what they cop? They just don't really worry too much about anything, you know? They're just very happy, chill. Uh, you know, they sell, you got to sell something to survive in Thailand. So everybody's productive. It's just that they don't require a lot of things. So those things uh, kind of drive you to work back and forth. Maybe your second and third job just to keep those things going and keep them upgraded and updated and, and all that good stuff. So uh, I really, really like the stress-free feeling that I get here in Thailand really just not worrying about anything and I always say this in my videos I don't even know what day it is and it's the honest truth does it really matter what day it is all I know is that uh if the sun's out it's the weather is hot or cold or raining or and I'm hungry that's about all I worry about but uh to be honest with you right now I can't even tell you what day it is so those things are not important to me anymore so the other side of that that I don't like is the fact that nobody's really in a hurry to do anything that you really need them to do so um you know if you need something repaired at your house uh, you're going to be waiting a while unless you can fix it yourself and then if you want to fix it yourself and you go to the department store you may not get exactly what you're looking for so uh, my neighbor had a water leak outside her house on the main line somebody tripped over it. it took about a week for the county to come out and fix it so she just taped it up with tape and water was she just turned the water on when she needed she'd go outside and and turn it on so she wasn't really just so by so by right but uh because of that on the other side if you need something done it's very difficult for them to get to get stuff accomplished uh, don't pay them up front uh, if all possible to get stuff done and it sometimes it goes a little quicker but no big deal but that's the other side of of that so number five is travel um, you can travel in Thailand all different ways very inexpensive to travel I can hop on a plane so what cop my owl cop my owl cop I can hop on a plane from our house and head to Bangkok in 45 minutes and it cost me under $28. Uh, I can jump on a bus and go anywhere in Thailand just about yeah, for right around 15 US dollars, about 500 baht uh, to do that. Um, it's very cheap to travel. Um, the accommodations are very inexpensive if you live here then you can go during the off season and usually everything is 50% or less uh, cheaper than in the busy season here in Thailand. But uh, traveling is so easy, so easy to just not have to settle in. That's what I do. I, we don't, we stay, uh, we have a home base in Isan and Tat Panom and her parents have a big house and that's where we stay but with this we're able to not be locked down and we travel all over thailand so if we want to come to cha am and stay here for a month or go down to prachuap and stay for a month or go chang then easily we can do that and we don't have to worry about any anchors so accommodations are really cheap and uh, you don't really have to own a vehicle in thailand at all so the sixth thing is healthcare. Um, healthcare, easy access to medicines. Look at that. Look at that uh, jet ski. It has an outboard motor on it, and that thing will fly, but you don't want to fall off the front of that thing for sure. That is cool. Crazy. Um, the medicine's easy to get to, and. Uh, insurance is cheap 
Uh, when I say medicine, you know, the, like here's an example. So I take blood pressure medication. So blood pressure medication in the United States is actually very inexpensive, but you can't get a lifetime supply. You have to go to the doctor. So I would go to the doctor and he would give me a 90 day prescription, which costs nothing, but there's the doctor visit and everything else that comes along with it. So here you can actually get that stuff over the counter. Uh, you gotta make sure you go to a legitimate uh, pharmacy and not, you know, not some Chinese medicine place, but uh, hospitals here are very inexpensive. Um, you can go see the doctor for most things under ten dollars. You know, if you have a, a catastrophe, that's different. But you can get. Uh, they're having a good time right there. They're having a great time. So you can get insurance here, like top quality insurance, and it varies uh, depending on your age and your conditions, just like anywhere. But for me, being 50 years old, 49. Uh, I can get top-notch insurance for about $120 a month, uh, which will cover just, a, it'll cover a lot. Uh, there's all different kinds of insurance companies you can go online and get quotes to, but uh, you can go to the government hospital here and get excellent care, very inexpensive, or the clinics that are everywhere in Thailand for little to no money. So I really, really like the healthcare and it is top-notch, uh, the healthcare. The downside of the healthcare for me, not much. I will say I don't have many experiences in the healthcare system here in my one year in Thailand. I don't have many experiences back in the United States either. I didn't really go to, I didn't have a need to go to the doctor and I didn't take a pill for any little ailment that I have in my life. Not to say that what you're taking because of whatever serious illness is bad, but for me, I didn't take any, I don't take any pills for anything. So um, sometimes when you take pills, it makes you take additional pills and other pills. So anyway, I didn't spend much time in the doctor there. So uh, the downside of that is the emergency. Uh, I got a list here and people are showing up. So what do you call it? So what do you call My outcome. My me talk cop. Emergency services. So let's say you have an emergency and you get really seriously injured. I've seen the ambulances come through here and they don't go very fast. They can't. Uh, so I've never seen a life flight here. Um, I, I do not think there is a life flight service here in Thailand. I may be wrong, but I've never seen one. I've done research and I can't seem to find that there is one, but um, the ambulance system is pretty slow. So, you know, carry a Buddha, a Buddha lucky charm around, <laughs> but that's the only thing and it's not that big of a deal. So I think most of us Falangs are uh, close in areas where there's a, usually a major the hospital so um, the seventh thing that I love about Thailand this constant celebrations that there is I don't know how many holidays 52 holidays and then they celebrate everybody else's holidays too so um, Thailand they love to celebrate and have a good time uh, yeah and uh, I really enjoy that too so it's like always a party and it comes up all the time and I don't even know what they're celebrating but it's very interesting and very entertaining. So uh, the downside of having celebrations all the time for me is uh, the noise. So sometimes I live on the Mekong River. So usually Lao is on the other side. They're celebrating too. And they are so loud over there. But people like to play loud music. I don't think Thailand, I don't think Thai people have volume control. <laughs> It's like all the way, you know, so it gets loud and uh, I'm a little sensitive sometimes to noise and it just gives me a little bit of headache, but maybe it's because I'm getting old and cranky, I don't know, but uh, the noise is a bad thing. So the other part of that is crowds. I, I'm not big on crowds and there's a lot of people usually in these celebrations in small towns and small areas and everybody's selling stuff and it's a great time but there's just a tremendous amount of people and it gets difficult to manage um, and drinking Thai people when they celebrate they drink so 
late at night that becomes a problem so i'm not a night person typically and i try to stay away from that crowd uh, but you want to try to stay away from tie bars and and stuff like that late at night because uh, especially the younger guys they uh, get a little bit too rowdy and you don't really want to get involved with a fight uh, with a Thai guy uh, even though you tower over him because it's not going to end up well uh, because they won't forget about it and if you're lucky there won't be 10 other guys with him so just want to throw that little bit in but don't uh, don't try to fight a Thai person just you know cut torts what they cop sorry you know and, and walk away uh, but you know if you're forced into it that's a different story but don't uh, don't look for trouble uh, the eighth thing that I love about Thailand uh, is their respect for their country their respect for their God uh, and their respect for their elders kind of missing that in the in the Western civilization uh, that kind of went away years ago um, you know you can teach your kids to be respectful but the society in my opinion has let us down and uh, and I think in Thailand is also changing a little bit due to the society and the internet and multimedia and all that stuff but for the most part they still have a tremendous respect for each other definitely their Buddha their God and uh, their elders so uh, I respect that a lot about this culture I really really enjoy that and it's been a long time since I've seen I've seen that in my own my own eyes the other side of that story is sometimes Thai people don't have respect for other people around them uh, something like music um, they'll block off the whole street if there's a wedding or a funeral and uh, you know they'll drink all night long and they'll play loud music all night long um, another thing is kind of gets to me is they like to burn stuff instead of picking leaves up and trash in their yard they'll put it in a pile uh, and burn it now we do this out in the country too but this is in a rural area and a lot of people most people in Isan don't sleep with air condition or windows are open so it's no respect for your neighbors to do that you know just uh, just start a fire there and, and it's going right into your neighbor's house or I've been sitting in a restaurant out in the open and the lady next door who lives there just starts a fire and the smoke blows right into the restaurant just not even really thinking about it but just does it you know uh, the vehicles are very smoky they don't really have a pollution law uh, they'll tune up these little trucks and just punch them to the floor and, and just it doesn't matter if there's an old lady on a moped behind him he just you know just smokes them out just no respect for the people that are behind them just uh, in a hurry to get to the next county for their delivery um, the bicycles these teenagers like to soup up their bicycles and they'll just about take their muffler out they'll cut out the inside and doesn't matter what time it is they'll run up and down the street as loud as they could possibly go huh Oh, a squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. That really kind of bothers me, that little set of things. But um, the respect that they have for, you know, the other things is really, really good. So, uh, but anyway, if they were my kids running up and down the road like that, I'd smack them in the head. <laughs> so number nine is the weather uh, the weather in Thailand for me is perfect yes it's very hot sometimes you can duck out of the heat and sit in front of the in front of the fan you won't see Thai people standing out here on the beach with the Sun uh, you won't see them out in the Sun they're, they're always covered up they know how to keep cool so you got to learn these things when you live here and it's really not that big of a deal but when you first get here and you're walking around without a shirt on and then you get sunburned because you're not wearing sunscreen and the next day you're miserable you can't blame it on Thailand blame it on yourself so 
Um, but the weather here is perfect right now, this time of year, it's end of November, December. Uh, it's going to be close to the 20 degrees Celsius area, which is perfect. And uh, not a whole lot of bugs this time of year. So um, the bad side of the weather is, yeah, it gets really, really, really hot. I like to exercise and ride my bike. And in some days it's so hot, I can't go outside. It's too unbearable. But uh, the worst thing about the heat is the insects. I'm not really a big fan of insects. I know that being in Thailand, <laughs> you're you're going to be around a lot of insects so i just have to deal with it but flies get bad mosquitoes get bad and uh as a foreigner the mosquitoes and flies they love us <laughs> so i will tell you this after being here for a year and i've ate a lot of garlic and thai food and peppers i very rarely get bit by mosquitoes but the flies love me i don't know why i'm not dead yet Anyway, the insects is the bad side of that. So number 10, the 10 uh, best things that I love about Thailand is, uh, is being healthy. Um, I said at the beginning with the food, I feel more healthier now than I ever have in my entire life. And a lot of that is because I don't have to get up every morning get in my vehicle and drive somewhere I don't want to, sit somewhere I don't want to, listen to people that I don't want to listen to, and then go back home so I can start over again the next day. I don't have that problem here in Thailand. I live a stress-free life and uh, I don't worry too much about things and that causes you to be become healthy also when you don't have a lot of stress and a lot of worries. But. Uh, I'm able to concentrate now on uh, and exercising. I'm able to de dedicate a little bit of my time that I gave to everybody else to myself and uh, just enjoy life. I enjoy bike riding. I enjoy talking to people, meeting new people, speaking new languages, uh, exercising. It's just, it's a really enjoyable, healthy life here in Thailand. So the downside of that is Thai people now are getting really fat. Uh, I noticed it every time I was coming here, it was getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So the introduction to sugars and starches and uh, preservatives and fast food and, and non-exercise, everybody rides their moped everywhere. Nobody rides a bike anymore. Um, there's a lot of reasons why there's obesity here in Thailand. They're starting to get a lot of people that have diabetes. I would say that just about every woman over the age of 30 years old is fat. So, um, yeah, it's happened. But I think eventually they'll smarten up and things will change. They do have exercise equipment now everywhere in every town. And you do see a lot of people exercising and trying to stay fit. And they do ride bicycles at night, but um, um, yeah, they're getting fat. And they're starting to take a lot of medicines now. You watch TV and it's like, take this medicine for this and take this medicine for that. Uh, and a lot of these medicines are causing them to retain a lot of water and uh and have a lot of problems so there's a lot of reasons for obesity but those are my reasons my opinion but um yeah it's coming it's hard to stay skinny <laughs> in thailand i fight with a diet all the time um when we're traveling i think me and Paige are drinking too many beers <laughs> and i'm not getting enough exercise but uh Trying to be skinny is a, is, a, is a definite battle, but I don't think we need to be skinny. I think we just need to really be happy in our life. I think that's more important is to be stress-free and healthy and, uh, and just happy, you know? So just try not to be so overweight that it causes you health problems, you know, like knee problems and, and diabetes and, and heart problems. I think if it gets to that point, you need to do something about it somehow, so. Anyway, that's my list of 10 things that I love about Thailand after being here for a whole year. Um, I think next year is going to be great. Uh, I've learned a lot in Thailand. Um, I, I learned a new language. Uh, I learned to love a culture. I learned to love the weather, the food, 
Yeah, there's a, everything about Thailand. I bought this vehicle and me and my wife are traveling all over Thailand meeting wonderful people. And uh, that's another reason why I did this vlog is to share this with you and show you uh, the other side of the planet and a different culture and just share my experience here in Thailand as a new person. Uh, not try to tell everybody how it's going to be, but just share my experiences with you guys. And uh, it's, it's, it's my pleasure and, and uh, it's really fun to do that for you. And I try to answer some questions along the way. Uh, I get the answers from my experiences and from other people, mostly Thai people. So anyway, um, if you enjoy this channel and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We have a lot of, a lot of variety of uh, different vlogs that we put out and uh, we do a q a if you have questions i try to help people uh, on facebook on on gmail and on on youtube so uh, if you have questions feel free to ask and uh, if you like the channel remember to always hit like uh, leave a comment leave a question you guys have a great day and i will see you on the next video these two are talking let's see if we can get them to say goodbye y'all want to say goodbye Thanks for listening to me, blah, blah, and I will see you on the next video.